Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Yes, I have some Bitcoins and cool t shirts, guys. Um, today's video, really cool video with really cool TA charts. Watch the video completely till the end because you need to see these charts. They are telling you what we expect Bitcoin to do next. Sorry, I didn't make a video yesterday. That's the first time since like almost one and a half year. But I need to speak in Lisbon, I need to drive away at 6 o'clock in the morning. It was an awesome day, a video later today on that day, yes, day in Lisbon, speaking there at an event for Niftify, guys. Let's jump quickly into the charts to see on this beautiful Saturday morning what Bitcoin is doing to us, with us, for us, against us. I don't know anymore. Let's jump. From the very first moment I lay eyes on you, I knew I loved you and the love. A love carved in stone Love carved in stone Oh, that's me and my baby A love carved in stone <laughs> Guys, here we have the first cool chart. This is the four hour chart. Yes, I'm looking on the Aurox platform, make the used. On the four hour in chart, the BAM indicator yesterday gave us a long. Did we take the long over there? No. When the green candle closes above the yellow stepping line over there and at the same time we see a lot of green and we see a green dot and we see the green line on top and the orange in the middle and the red on the bottom and we see in the bottom here the bam crossing that line that's one two three four five confirmations that is the moment we take the long and that is a perfect long on the four hour check just check from there all the way to where we are now if you didn't exit yet 6.6 percent .6 with a leverage of 10 at 65 percent and when do you exit this trade is now the question if it's up to the bam bam indicator you just take profit uh, when you can if you top at the blue line is always a beautiful moment to take profit yes you can have more profit if it goes up but it's safe to take some profit over there um, if you want to take a little bit more risk then you take profit when the next candle closes down below the yellow stepping line or when you see the short flag both are possible you need to decide for yourself uh, which is the best strategy guys let's jump into the next chart because there's a lot of cool charts let's check this one by now uh, okay look do you remember we were speaking about we were fighting that red line here and now we broke it one candle closed above it the next candle now opened above it and now we need to keep this candle above this red line if we can keep the candle above the red line we will go up a little bit maybe even retest that line again and then go up for that nice beautiful purple line at 63 and then maybe even that red line at 73 and then still we can have the blow off top that we saw in the previous bull runs because i'm going to show you here this was that red line and the purple line and then we had that blow off top. So if we go to the purple line and then to that red line and we go up by then, you can see a blow off top. Really cool chart. Do we have any other charts over here? Yes, this one. This is the 250 of course and when they cross we have the bullish cross. A golden cross. On this chart we are using the moving averages. They are slower when it comes to reacting to the price because the exponential moving average are a little bit faster. The moving average, if we would draw the lines a little bit further like they are going, then we could see a cross in the end of September. But if we bam look here, this is um, the exponential moving averages. Then we can see the purple one is the 200 daily exponential moving average. And the green one is the 50 daily exponential moving average. Then we can see this cross around 25th of August in four days, which would lead then to an explosive uh, jump of Bitcoin mostly. If we go even steeper, like we're doing now over here, it can also happen already here at the 23rd or 24th, which would be Sunday, Monday in that area. Let's see. This is all speculation, but we can see on the bottom that the RSI is also crossing up. The blue line is in the box, crossing above that red line, which mostly is an indication of volume. 
are we at 48,000? No, this is the BLX. If you look at this one, the buy bit chart, you can see where we are at 49,000. The BLX is always lagging a little bit behind, guys. There, the cross already happened in the buy bit chart. So, really awesome to see. Why did we expect this? Maybe I can show you if I go back to the four hour chart. Look, I drew this line down here, here in this area, I drew the line. And I saw that line coming down, 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 and I was waiting for that breakout. That breakout was the confirmation of that explosion growth we just saw. If you want to trade all of this and use the BAM indicator, then BAM, go to the BitcoinFamily.com. You will find all the products, you will find everything about a token, you will find everything about us, the vision, the goal, the team. So just go to the Bitcoin family if you want to sign up to be one of the indicators. Now, let's jump, let's breathe. <laughs> let's jump into the next really cool charts and um, these ones over bam here <clears throat> yes i have a cold no no covid just a cold guys that's because of the air code um you might ask yourself so who is still buying all these bitcoins you know how can the price still go up who is buying bitcoins at these levels we can see who is buying the bitcoins over here in this beautiful drawing the bluish um, blocks, these are the people that are offloading coins, selling. The yellowish to reddish blocks, these are accumulating Bitcoin. Okay, I hope that is clear. Blue is cold, selling. Red is hot, is buying. Then you have the first row. I'm going to do it like, how can I do it like this? The first row, 1K to 10K Bitcoins, 100 to 1K Bitcoins. 10 to 100 bitcoins, 1 to 10 bitcoins, and people that own less than 1 bitcoin. So, if you look now, then the groups from 10 to 1k bitcoins, these two groups over there, they are a little bit even. They, you know, they, they have been flat. Buying, selling, buying, selling. You can see blue, yellow, blue, yellow. So they are in the middle. They are like at 0% level over here, there. They don't know. They have enough bitcoins. All the other categories are buying. The whales that own 1k to 10k bitcoins, guys, above here, they are all red or yellow. They are buying. All the people that own one less than one bitcoin to 10 bitcoins, look, they are yellow. They are buying. So these people are all buying the bitcoins. And why are they buying the bitcoins? Because they believe that we are not yet at the bull run top and where are all these people buying bam that is what we can see over here this one here i need to move my face because else it's in the middle of the picture let's make it small and put it over there here you can see where the people are buying this is the complete almost complete ecosystem where you can see that we have landing platforms on the top Celsius, Nexo, Leden, Unchained Capital, BlockFi, Genesis. <coughs> Sorry, we have custody uh, platforms on the bottom. We can see them over here. That's Trezor, Casa, Gemini, Coinbase Custody, all of these. And in the middle, you have all kinds of ways to um, onboard into crypto. So this is the retail part. We all mostly use Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini, uh, OKEx, and of course Bybit. By the way, if you want to sign up to all of these exchanges, use the links down below our videos because you get a huge bonus because of that, like $1,200 to $1,600. So use the links down below to Phoenix and Bybit, the best exchanges out there in my opinion at the moment. But you can see that there are also institutional trades being done on these platforms, the CME Group backed LMAX. And then you can see the rest. Who is investing in these institutional platforms? That's Grayscale, that's CoinShares, 3IQ, Bcoin, Genesis. All of these are doing this. And for who are these trading on these platforms? For the institutional clients, for the banks, for the funds, for the brokers, for the corporates. And the retail clients over here are trading over there. And how are they onboarding into there? Through PayPal to Cash Apps, to Revolut, to Robinhood, all beautiful possibilities to interact with cryptocurrency. This ecosystem, what you see over here, guys, is growing tremendously. 
every day again new projects, new companies on board and offer services in this ecosystem. It's one of the biggest ecosystems of the world and it's going to be bigger and bigger and bigger. And that is why, bam, over here, we believe in this beautiful chart as well, um, where we can see the Bitcoin all-time highs. And in the all-time highs, I need to check my face again. Ah, yeah, come on, Didi. Yeah, you need to make yourself a little bit bigger. You're not that, uh, you, you're important as well. <laughs> next to shot BTC uh, why I'm speaking French again oh my god uh, but in this chart guys you can see very beautifully um, the all-time highs the amount of all-time highs during the previous bull runs so in here this one we had 52 all-time highs so new all-time highs during the bull run in 2017 we had 74 new all-time highs and if you look very closely then you can see in between there, in this small part of there, we had a break. There was no all-time high created. These black areas. Now, this bull run, we only had 30 all-time highs. So please, don't tell me that was the top of the bull run. That black thing that you're seeing now here, this area, is became, becoming a gap. One of those two gaps that you see over there. A gap that you see over there. And then we will again slowly continue creating new all-time highs until we see the blow off top above 100k. That is how Bitcoin is moving. And also, bam, this model is telling us exactly the same. It's from Glassnode. And you can see which price models are predicting which prices. So we have the red line that is a top uh, price model. We have the... Uh, greenish line that's the realized price and we have the delta top so if we look back into history then here both tops came to the orange or even to the red line here in 2017 the top came to the orange or even to the red line above the orange i need to say above the orange now oh shit we didn't come above the orange line we didn't come near the red line we still need to come near to the orange line or the red line the orange line at the moment is around 80k i think and the red line it will be around 180k so that's a huge difference so for me again everything is pointing that we will go higher and even bam again this beautiful chart yes bombing you with charts because i was not there yesterday and i feel very guilty i was not there i need to provide really good education every day in and out <sighs> Sometimes I get tired of myself. Yes, I know you can understand it. But here, this chart, you look at the cycle. That's a five year cycle, 2012 to 2017. So in those five, four, five years, you can see what happened between the blue line between 2012 and 2017. And now look at 2016, four years later, huh? 2012, four years later, 2016, how we beautifully keep following all those movements we have made in that previous cycle yes they are not completely the same but in average they are looking the same in average up till now we are copying that previous bull run cycle but we still need to see the blow of top above 100k to copy that last part here of the cycle in 2017 and the most beautiful part now is that if you look at the top of 2017 over there this purple line on the bottom was at 32 times the price of that pre previous run again. So this line is the four-year multiple. We are now at 11 times. So the price on the 19th of August in 2017 was 4K. So we are now at 46K. So that's uh, 47, 8 now almost. It's times 11. So for me, this purple line needs to come close to this dollar line over there to reach an all-time top because those tops those peaks mostly the purple line is above that dollar line okay that was a lot of information today and bam yes it was almost 15 minutes but that's a double amount of time because I didn't do a video yesterday. I hope you really enjoyed all the information. I hope you wake up with a beautiful Saturday morning. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. If you're wondering where did I buy this t-shirt, 
I bought that at Rovereto in Italy. There is a shop with really cool apparel. I forgot the name, but if I can remember, I will put down the link there. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an amazing Saturday and see you later on the AMA, AMA Dutch today, English tomorrow, and another TA video tomorrow morning again. Uh, wish you a beautiful weekend, guys. Thank you for watching and see you later. Bam! Well